Steve Heiss for News on the Line, bringing you another story from the Borderlands. After my visit to Friendship Park, I went to see Jeffrey Berenger at his home in San Diego. Jeffrey does a unique form of performance and music which centers around the idea of cross-border and cross-cultural relations. I'm known as Mono Mono. I am, I guess you would say, a border artist. I am a musician and uh, in some ways an activist. Many of my songs, um, I would say, are bi bicultural, specifically between um, Mexico and the United States. We have created a lot of negative energy in our, in our border policy. And so I try to use positivity um, to create bridges instead of borders and, and walls. And so a lot of my songs use humor um, to try and, and to create like a positive link um, between the two cultures. And a great example of that is my song Ingles para Depravados, which teaches all the dirty words in English and in Spanish. Um, but I, the ultimate goal of songs like that is to, um, well, to promote love instead of, you know, distrust or animosity or hatred, which is what I feel our border po policy promotes. I was recently in Berlin, and so I know that walls can come down because I have seen a wall that has come down. I know it is possible, but yeah, I mean, of course there's hope. There's hope that, you know, that the, that the physical wall will come down, that, you know, the wall in our minds will come down because, you know, that, that wall that we're building is a reflection of someone's idea of what is the proper, you know, way to relate to the people to the south of us. Um, so, but I don't feel that, that that change is coming very soon. You know, why don't they make it easier to go across what, you know, is for the people? It's, it, I, I, I can't even verbalize my feelings, but disgusting would say it in, in one word. It, it disgusts me. I, I guess I feel a little powerless, a little powerless at this point. I feel that there was a big fight, you know, to try and have that wall not go in. I don't think that the, the current administration is going to be able to reverse the damage of the last eight years, I think it's going to be a lot longer than that, personally. I don't know what it would take to get rid of that wall. I, re I really have no idea what it would take, but it's like, I don't, I don't see America going that way right now. And I think if anything, um, there's going to be more support for projects like that than less, you know, because economic hardship doesn't usually breed love. You know, scarcity doesn't usually breed love, it breeds fear. And people, and that wall is all, it's, it's an evidence that there's already a lot of fear in this country. So I, I hope I'm wrong, honestly. I hate to be like the voice of doom, but I know I'm gonna continue to do my work, you know, and try to and promote love. When you, don't like something, what do you, do? You, down, you know, more so now because I feel that in times of economic uncertainty, um, it's much more important that people try and be reminded. Um, not to be, you know, you know, afraid and to al allow their fear and um, to make them make bad decisions. That's Mono Mono's take on it, so I hope I'm wrong, world. World, please, like, come, show your love, and just, like, take that wall down. And, like, first the wall has to come down in people's minds, you know. So there's too many people that have that wall in their minds, That's and they built it. They, they, they took what was in their minds and they put it on the land, and it's like... People fought it, but not enough. People did not come out to fight it. And now people, are, it's just gonna, they're gonna accept it. It's gonna be there for so long. And I, I don't know what it would take, you know? Please send me a letter, to, like, send me something. It's some idea of what we could do to make that go away. But it's like, I mean, it's real now. It's like a really big thing. It's a really big wall. <laughs> big, ugly wall. <laughs>